The Globe has been part of Stockton's high street since 1935. It's always been in the hearts of the local people. They always want to see something happen with it. So it's very much been something that we've been trying to do for a long time. You know, it brings that sort of sense of pride back to Stockton. It will house a gorgeous sort of theatre space and then the auditorium downstairs is a really flexible space so it can be standing or seated. Also importantly there's a venue which is next door and adjoining the Globe so it's called The Link to make sure that we've got enough capacity for a daytime operation, cafe, bar, box office. It's fantastic now you can see the actual theatre again from when it was basically a shell. You know, we had to rip out so much of the interior that had been damaged or rotted and every day really there's something new to see and then over the weeks you sort of see how quickly that moves on. It's really exciting. Performers like Paloma Faith, she's coming next October. Comedians like John Bishop, Jason Manford, Jules Holland is coming with a huge orchestra so people will travel because it is the biggest venue between Leeds and Newcastle. Wilmot Dixon have been a great partner actually to Stockton Borough Council. They've been really accommodating, they've been very professional when we've had issues that we were not sure if we were able to overcome. They've been really hardworking and, and found solutions to a lot of the things that mean that the building will be much more sort of fit for purpose. It's big investment, so local people are very keen to see it happen and delivered and open. Obviously it gives them sort of that aspiration around what Stockton can be. We've had some other key projects in the town delivered recently, but the Globe itself is really the jewel in the crown. It's something that we really see as the major project that we've delivered over the last 10 years or so to bring that vitality and life really back into the town. <laughs>